Do the most impressive thing under this table with one hand. You must be looking at the camera and waving with your other hand throughout your impressive thing. OK, it's going to be my right hand, cos this hand doesn't do anything. You have 15 minutes to prepare for your impressive thing. Then a minute in which to do your impressive thing. Your time starts now. So I'm going to attempt to make you a feast using only one hand. You better eat this. Your time starts. <laughs> Leave Waverley. Uh, uh. You're waving me. Uh, uh. Can you keep me up to date with the time, please, Alex? I don't know why I was flattered. Doesn't even say it in the instruction. Uh, 45 seconds left. Sir! Sir! Come on, waving. Sorry. Sorry. Ah! Ah! Hiya. Hiya. Where's that bread gone? You've got 30 seconds. Where's the bread gone? Where's the bread gone? There was bread on there. I dropped everything. You've only got 15 seconds. Oh, God. I got all the bread. I am looking at the cow. Rubbing it on. What were you hoping the end result would be? I genuinely thought I would be able to do something amazing that you... when it came up, you'd be like, wow, that is pretty impressive. You kept using the word feast. Well, it's a feast, isn't it? You can feast on it. I admired your ambition. Thank you. And the end result was rubbish. Right, I'm looking at a frozen banana. I'm allowed to touch these things, Alex. All the information's in the task, Lee. I'll take this off, I can't hear everything you're saying. Get all of this banana in the bottle. Oh, it's cold. You may not break the bottle. The bottle may not leave the lab fastest wins. Your time starts now. Does that mean now? Hang on. Ah. Oh. Right, OK, it's got a number on it. Um, so I have to find the code, don't I? You've got to get the banana in. Oh, hello, there's a code at the bottom. It says 201. Hello. Oh, it's disgusting, this stuff. Oh, oh, it came off. Bingo. It's like a frozen banana as well, isn't it? Oh, hang on, there's something in the bottle. Oh, no. Oh, for the love of God. I mean, I'm tempted to just pour it all over the floor, but I have got some dignity, unlike the other people, the young people who will throw it all over the floor. Can I just pour it on the floor? OK. Is that right? <laughs> 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 I can go get stuff? Oh, all the information's in the task there, Jamali. Oh, OK. Oh, you're being sarcastic. All right, thank you, man. <laughs> ah, there we go. It might be that my ban... Oh, oh, it's jelly, I think. Did you microwave the banana? Yeah. How long before? Two, two minutes, two minutes. <laughs> this is horrible. I think if you heat jelly up, it liquefies, doesn't it? There's no, like, suction device here, is there? Uh, well, we've got a hoover. Can I get a hoover? Can we get you a hoover? Yeah, give me a hoover, bro. OK. <laughs> right, now watch. I think I've just demonstrated lateral thinking there. <laughs> you don't have, like, an industrial hoover. An industrial hoover? Yeah. We don't have an industrial hoover, no. Get the banana defrosted. Get more of that in there. Yeah, thank you, bro. Right, that's the jelly out. Great. All of the banana. It's got to be the skin, right? Oh, no, it's full up. The bottle's full. <laughs> I'm doing everything in my powers not to masticate it. But at the moment, it's looking like it might have to be... Hot or cold? It's confusing. Free... <laughs> Boiling on the outside, freezing in the middle. A very weird... Actually, quite nice. I'm so keep asking you shit. Can you um, get me a cup of water, please? What's in your hand? Yeah, but I mean like a, a full up cup. Oh, right. And a little less attitude next time, please, mate. <laughs> I thought this was the smartest thing I've ever done or the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I'm basically gonna squeegee that into the bowl. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. What are you doing then? Stop in the end. <sighs> Stop here. Maybe. 
Je t'en prie. Oh. T'en prie Yeah. OK, yeah. There we go. I love that you correctly predicted the poor behaviour of the youth. I, I knew it. I knew it. Just no, no consideration, just all over the floor. And I was, I was making a... I also like that you said you were going to do it with dignity and then end up chopping oh, yeah. it up in your mouth. And then spat it into the... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was a lovely metaphor for the difference between two age groups as well, in that you thought, oh, no, I'm going to melt this jelly and it'll logically fall out of the bottle, whereas you asked for a hoover to, <laughs> suck, <laughs> to suck it out. <laughs> yeah, I, it's only later on I realised that if you add water to it, that it obviously fills up with air and pushes it out. But, I, um, yeah, I just, I just thought I could hoover it out or something. It's the folly of you. Yeah, yeah. Have you got some fascinating statistics? Lee said the futility levels on this show were beyond the realm and scored 11 minutes and 13 <laughs> seconds. All right. And to put that into context, Jamali, after getting a blender, a hoover, a spoon, a funnel, towel, pumps, 23 minutes and 19 seconds. Oh. <laughs> More than twice. As Lovely as well. to see the older generation winning the day. Yeah. <laughs> and one thing we know about, it's mashing up our food. Having a lovely banana snack as well. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to First Class. Hello, Lee. Sorry for that. Ooh. I'm not used to this. It's nice, you know, it's worth the money, isn't it? Identify the contents of the battered items in this fish and chips order. You may lick and sniff all of the items. <laughs> oh, my God. You may bite into two. You may squeeze one bet oh, between your elbows. Between your elbows? You may really stamp on one. Really stamp. Really stamp. Really stamp on one. Why can't you, you may stamp on one. Ah, oh, you've got to really stamp on it. All oh, right. You may look at one through a magnifying glass. You may put one in a glass of water. Most correctly identified items wins. You have ten minutes. Your time starts now. Okay. Batter. Yeah, that's batter one. That to me looks like a lemon. <laughs> Uh, OK, didn't help me at all. That's told me nothing. So, let's try, um, biting into two. I'd call that the non-vegan egg. I'm gonna bite into this one, which feels like such a bad move, but also, I sort of hope it's a brownie. <laughs> if it's supposed to be, like, a, a bit of leather or something, I don't think you'd do that. It would be... OK. Right. A wallet. That's a wallet, you weirdo. <laughs> I mean, it's a wallet. So, did you get the message that I'm a vegan? Yeah, yeah, I've got a message that you're vegan. It's just egg and a leather wallet. Oh, God. Kiwi. Delicious? No. I just got, like, scraps of hair from the outside of it. Gonna go for jam. Scrawny, but sharp. Oh, an egg. Oh, my God. Oh, that's so unhelpful. Oh, you've got to really stamp on it. I am really doing it. It's not an illusion. Well, that, that's the kiwi fruit, that. I think that's just batter. Batter deep-fried in batter. What's the point of that? Why didn't you say you can just look really closely? Oh. Shame, that's so I don't want to eat that. And I'm going banana. You. Oh, no. Oh. Mm -mm. You're licking it, are you? Internally. You can lick internally, as long as you don't bite it. Look, it's all solid. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say that's a lemon as well. Two lemons in the end. I'm going to say an eraser. An eraser? Yeah. No, a razor. Oh, a razor? Yeah. So a razor blade? No, oh, no. A razor like a rubber. <laughs> a razor. A razor? Yeah. Lychee. Thank you, Lee. You're welcome. We did know that he was a vegan, right? Yes. I should take some responsibility here. Yeah. I thought wallets would be all right. Yeah, because they're famously nothing to do with animals, are they, leather wallets? <laughs> Seems unlikely that an animal could be a leather wallet. <laughs> <laughs> He puts up a strong argument. <laughs> <laughs> I do need to say, it wasn't a leather wallet, it was a plastic wallet. I mean, egg's clearly not vegan. Y are you responsible for this? I'm so sorry, Lee, about making you eat those foods. <laughs> <laughs>
I was, listen, I'm, I'm 99% that I'm not the full vegan yet because I keep, I, I'll, I'll lick a wallet. Yeah. <laughs> Charlotte, well, you were totally on it. You weren't vaguely uh, phased out by biting into a wallet. No. I did say, I think, I, 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 there's no way it could be leather and then bit immediately into leather. So it was quite, pr like, yeah. a premonition. She did well, except for thinking we'd hidden two lemons in them yeah. for, for some reason. So she got four out of six. Lee got kiwi, egg, wallet. There was no jam, lychee or banana. So he got three out of six. OK. Mm -hmm. I'll say that. that oh, there's a little... <laughs> What's that? That can't be... I mean, there wouldn't be any more, would there? It's got... Hang on. Ooh! Oh. Please look under the table. Oh, nice. <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? Yeah, no, it was, it was, it was fun. Was it the task in the... I haven't got a clue. <laughs> OK. Oh! <laughs> Make the best babushka meal. Each course must be presented inside the previous course. Best babushka meal wins. You have five minutes to order your ingredients and 20 minutes to prepare your babushka meal. It's not much time, 20 minutes. Take longer than that to do Angel Delight. The time starts now. What flavour soup do you like? We've got um, nondescript or nondescript? Oh, I love a bit of nondescript soup. Nondescript. Carefully slice, carefully slice. Oh, look at that! That round there, keep it all knotted together. Oh, you... How long's left, Alex? Five minutes. I've got to remember the order now. There you go. I call it a full-day setup. Hello, sir. Wow. Your dish. Et voila. And breakfast first, is it? Yep, breakfast first. So salmon and eggs. Yep, they're nice. Yep. How many eggs? you got about six eggs in there. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Ah, oh, yes. How firmly is that held together? Can I let go? You can. It won't move anywhere. Well, it'll move a bit. <laughs> and then inside, you'll see the many layers. You look fabulous. Thank you. And what do we have below? Well, you've got soup. Oh, yeah. And it's cold soup, too. Oh, thank you. So it's, what's it called? What, what, what do you call cold soup? Yeah, it's pacho. Oh, it is cold. Yeah, yeah. Mm. On the outside layer, would you like to start with the watermelon? Yes, please. That's delicious. It tastes so watermelon-y. That is the main cause. That was breakfast, that was lunch. It's chicken now. Right. Full roast chicken. Just straightforward chicken? Full roast chicken. You're now ready for cantaloupe. In the mouth, get the jelly in you, because that's the next layer after the cantaloupe. Everything's alternated with a bit of jelly. Mm. That is the palate, doesn't mm -hmm. it? That is the palate. What's after the cantaloupe? I think it might be the... It looks like there's a bit of chocolate. Kinder egg. Nice surprise? Well, the surprise is there's jelly and a pea. Get the jelly. Cleanse the palate. So the chicken top comes off, it should come off. Oh, yeah, oh. there you go. And then you've got a Yorkshire pudding. There you go. Oh, there you disappointing, go. that bit. Yeah, but that's a jus, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> oh, no. Is that a Tic Tac? Mm -hmm. Go Smarty. Go Jelly. Cos each layer is... I've mentioned, but each layer being... Yes. Uh, Cleanse the palate. Get in there with the pea. Oh, that's actually nicer than a normal pea. Inside the capacho oh, yeah. is trifle. Oh, and that's lovely. Wrapped up in a plastic bag. Presented very nicely. You've only really got one thing left. You have a hundred and thousand. A hundred and thousand. How do you say this word? There is one hundred and thousand in there. Yes. Eat that. That's disappointing. Mm. And to be fair, a hundred and thousand aren't known for their taste. It's more of a texture. Thank you, Lee. All right. Thank you. I'm going to go back to breakfast. OK, man. You enjoy it. Will do. <laughs> wow. I mean, you up the ambition, basically. Yeah. Do you know, I, I trained to be a chef. You Did can't you? see that there. Yeah, I can, I can see why you're a comedian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jamali, uh, did, yeah. Jamali did the proper cooking amongst the five of them. I really like the, the logic of a whole day of eating as well. Yeah. Um, I, I just don't know where the concept of uh, smothering everything in soup comes from. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the layers, isn't it? So it's the bread and soup. One of the most appetising moments for me is when the chicken was lifted yeah. and the cold soup came yeah. in like That's a... That's the point, it was like a, a river. river of Mad. misery. Yeah. <laughs> His meal did feed the crew for the whole day. We had all the... Cos the salmon and the eggs were delicious. The chicken, once you'd rinsed off, the soup was fine. We didn't waste any of that. It was, it was a lovely meal. It really meal. genuinely all got eaten. It was a tiger loaf, it was a lovely dish, so thank you. It was yeah. impressive. What about Lee's? Now, I think what you did was intersperse every course with jelly to cleanse the palate. Admittedly, <laughs> I probably should have gone with a mint or a lemon flavour. Not, not strawberry. It's not known for cleansing the palate. Well, you, you came good with the mint in the end. And, of course, that classic pea into mint. Pea, mint, hundreds and thousands. The pea, 
<laughs> was the most spectacular solitary pea I've ever eaten. They were both very impressive, very Strong. ambitious meals. Mm -hmm.